All right, so let's do this. Let me show you how to rip your 3D Blu-ray movies onto your PC to be side by side. I'm gonna show you this. It's very simple. As a matter of fact, you'll be able to do this yourself. All you're gonna need is a capable external Blu-ray player drive. Doesn't have to be Ultra HD. It could be just a regular Blu-ray. Rewritable. As long as it's rewritable, Blu-ray player. You're gonna need a copy of a Blu-ray 3D movie. In this case, IMAX 3D, Transformers: Age of Extinction, and the second part is going to be the DVD Fab software that I talked about. So first thing first, you're going to have to put a the Blu-ray disc inside your external Blu-ray player. In this case, Transformers Age of Extinction IMAX 3D version. Open your disc tray. Put Transformers Age of Extinction inside the external Blu-ray player. Close it. Let it load. Now the next step is for you to click on DVD Fab Ripper, Blu-ray Ripper. DVD Fab, you go to the DVD Fab website, you download the free trial and click on the Blu-ray Ripper. This is a Blu-ray Ripper free trial. See where it says Ripper? You click on it, right over here, you click on it, and then down here, you click right here on this cross icon that's sitting there on this square, inside a square. But first thing first, make sure you select where do you want to export this 3D side-by-side -side movie. So you need to create a folder on your D drive where you have more space so you can export this 12 gigabyte, 13 gigabyte uh, side by side 3D movie, which is gonna be down here, okay? So create a new folder under your D drive where you have more space storage, type in uh, 3D Blu-ray movies collection or whatever. For the purpose of this demo, we'll just call it 3D Blu-rays collection. Now, once you're done, down here, you select the D drive and select that same folder that we just created called the 3D Blu-rays collection. There it is. We have uh, selected uh, 3D Blu-rays collection. It's right there. So we know that our movie is going to be exported to this file. Now the final step is for you to click on this uh, this cross icon that's in this inside this square. You click on it and click on the uh, the E drive. Select the Blu-ray disc from the E drive, so that way you can read it and you can hear it. Now it's reading it. It's right over here. It's reading it. There it is. So now it's reading it. It's analyzing it. It might take a little while to analyze it. Once it analyzes it, uh, it's going to have it already presented here. So make sure you select to your E drive. Your E drive is your external Blu-ray player drive. Okay? And there it is. You can see it. It's right here. Transformers, Age of Extinction, 3D title. Now, the next step, the very important part right here. You see, it even has the uh, the wallpaper of Mark Wahlberg, Optimus Prime. Pretty cool. Now, the next step. This is the very important part. I want you guys to pay attention. All right? Pay attention to this part right here. Right over here. You see this wrench? This wrench right here. Click on that wrench. Advanced settings. My camera is doing a piss poor job capturing this but there's a wrench over here click on that wrench advanced settings click on it click it <laughs> click on it all right once you clicked on it this is where all the magic is going to happen 
You're going to choose what kind of format, MKV H.264 or H.265. I would suggest to use the H.264. Frame rate, 23, 24 frames per second. The bit rate, we're going to go with a low, a higher bit rate. We're going to go with a higher bit rate here. We'll go with, with, with a higher bit rate because I want to have a good quality. Now, the most important part is going to be the 3D split side by side. So the only step for you left to do is click start. Uh, this software will automatically put the 3D to side by side. It's going to automatically convert it to MKV file side by side. So the only thing you have to do is just click start right here. And uh, that's it. And you have three tries. All right. So you have three tries to convert three movies into a 3D Blu-ray MKV file. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do that. We're going to use one. Continue. And there it is, man. That's it. It's really that simple. Well, there you go. It's going to let you know how much you have left. This will take time because I have used a high quality. So it will take a long time for this to be processed. But once it's finished, once it's processed, then all you have to do is use your uh, big screen VR app and select SPS side by side on the big screen app and put on your VR headset and enjoy. Enjoy a beautiful, beautiful uh, 3D experience. I also recommend to use MKV video, MKV video to uh, watch your 3D Blu-ray movies from to big screen VR. Okay, so as you can see, it's really not that big of a deal. It's really, really simple and easy. Uh, I'm going to show you how to unlock the Region B tomorrow with the Terminator 2. Uh, it's very simple stuff. But you are going to need a software, and of course, you are going to need to have a PC and external Blu-ray player, something like this, you know, something like that. You see, like the one I have over here. You're going to need that. So, well, that's it, fellas. There you go. It's very simple stuff, very easy. If you have any questions, ask me. Okay, this shouldn't be a problem you know, for you to do this. Other than that, thank you for watching. Have any questions, leave it down below. I'll do my best to answer it whenever I get a chance. All right, have a good one though. Take care.